and chillin'. I'm your host, Yusef Bouchard. I'm here playing Assassin's Creed Game 1, Part 5. We are back to recycle all the uh, older towns again. Um, we are now going to the Western District. When we were here the first time in Damascus, which was the first town we did in the Part 2, we were only in this district. And then we will be now in this district, and then we'll be in this district when we come through this cycle again. You could go through all three towns three times and then the final boss at the very end we had a little issue with the recording earlier I did a little interrogation and a flag run didn't really miss too much but hopefully you guys won't have too much of an issue with that so without further ado we're going to head back to the western district and get these last remaining viewpoints to get our remaining investigations complete so we head back all the way to the assassin's brewery and get our guy uh, with the interrogation, we got the information piece that the guy that we're after, it never comes out, ever. But he's going to throw a party, and then, then that'll be our time to strike. Ha! Thief! You are fin- In my presence? That will cost you your life! Please, sir, have any money? No, you don't understand. I have nothing. I... Come no further. playthrough I discussed about well not play through the last portion of the uh, recording that was not really well recorded uh, the throwing blades that we got there will be these little guys that walk around with these big pouches that we got from like the um, pretty much stealing information pieces uh, those are the guys that carry the knives those are the people that you get your uh, knives from you don't give them a shop unfortunately but that's in the later in your games Assassin's Creed 2 and 3 and all that Okay, so we need to keep heading this way. You shouldn't be here. Be gone. <laughs> in the later games, you can actually hit pocket people and get the information. It's forbidden for you to be here. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Is that the one I need to find? Leave now! Who's responsible for this? Big towers, usually someone's at top. Yep. <laughs> Silenced. Okay, let's see if we can find our last piece of interrogation to hopefully we find somebody. Hopefully. Oh, another interrogation. Oh, pickpocket, never mind. That's even easier. I love pickpocket missions. They're so much easier. No one him. He's probably in this tunnel. Yep. I did not say hi. See that guy that's highlighted? That's the guy we need to pickpocket 
for um, the throwing knives. Of you to come. It is an honor to serve. What do you require? The letter I've given you must be brought to Salahadin's camp. Seek out the one they call Hisham. He will be able to help. But tell no one else of this. None will know my mission. Then our business is concluded. Super easy. Come this way. guy next to you that I don't want to fight. There we go. What were you doing? Okay, we got the Buru now. Sweet. Now we can go do our assassination. We saw in the recording that was lost was the feather hat guys. They are a little bit tougher than the pointy hat guys. They swing faster, they are quicker, they're more skilled. You have to knock them down and hit them more times to kill them because they're more armored as well. Peace be upon you, Altair. How may I serve you? I've done as asked and learned all I need to know about my prey. Then you must share your knowledge with me. Abu Naqud is corrupt to the core and despised by his own citizens as a result. It appears he's been stealing money meant for the people of Damas and spending it on himself. Even as we speak, he flaunts his greed, preparing for a lavish party. His guards and servants should have their hands full dealing with the guests. They won't even know I'm there. Most impressive, my friend. The others said you'd make a mess of things, but not I. No, I was sure you'd come through, and come through you have. The Bureau is yours to do with as you please until you're ready to begin. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. Let's go get our VIP. Oop, wrong wall. You are built. And I was just showing you the guy, uh, you guys, those knives, how they're used and where you get them. But we need to hang on to them for our final kill. Just in case he's a runner. Because I think there's like four runners in the game where they'll get away from you no matter what, and you gotta chase them down. A knight is one of them, but this guy doesn't sound like one of the runners. If you're able to get up and sneak up on him like you can with the doctor. Ha! You can't steal 
my presence? That will cost you your life! What have I done wrong? Tell me, please! I've got some. Oh, that's our way up. That's the feather hat, dude. Your time, I will wait. I trust everything is to your satisfaction. Most excellent, most excellent. Most excellent. Good, good. It pleases me to see you all so happy. For these are dark days, my friends, and we must enjoy this bounty while we still can. War threatens to consume us all. Salah Adin bravely fights for what he believes in, and you are always there to support him without question. It is your generosity that allows his campaign to continue. So, I propose a toast then. To you, my dear friends, who have brought us to where we are today. May you be given everything you deserve for it. Such kindness! I didn't think it in you! You, who have been so quick to judge me, and so cruel! Oh, do not feign ignorance! Do you take me for a fool? But I have not heard the words you whisper behind my back. Well, I have, and I fear I can never forget. But this is not why I called you here tonight, no. I wish to speak more of this war, and your part in it. You give up your coin quick as can be, knowing all too well it buys the deaths of thousands. You don't even know why we fight. The sanctity of the Holy Land you'll say, or the evil inclination of our enemies. But these are lies you tell yourselves. <laughs> no, all this suffering is born of fear and hate. It bothers you that they are different. Just as it bothers you that I am different. <sighs> Compassion, mercy, tolerance. These words mean nothing to any of you. Mean nothing to those infidel invaders who ravage our land in search of gold and glory. And so I say, enough! I've pledged myself to another cause. One that will bring about a new world. A 
in which all people might live side by side in peace. Hmm. A pity none of you will live to see. <laughs> to escape. can no longer do harm. Why have you done this? You stole money from those you claim to lead. Sent it away for some unknown purpose. I want to know where it's gone and why. Look at me. My very nature is an affront to the people I ruled. And these noble robes did little more than to muffle their shouts of hate. So this is about vengeance then? No, not vengeance, but my conscience. How could I finance a war in service to the same god that calls me an abomination? If you do not serve Salah ad dins cause, then whose? In time, you'll come to know them. I think perhaps you already do. Then why hide? And why these dark deeds? Is it so different from your own work? You take the lives of men and women, strong in the conviction that their deaths will improve the lots of those left behind. A minor evil for a greater good? We are the same. No, we are nothing alike. Ah, but I see it in your eyes. You doubt. You cannot stop us. We will have our new world. Time to run. I said the ladder. Now we have a whole city to cross. Destroy knives to get guys in your face in the mask. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> 
Hmm, a river. has reached me of your success, Altair. Abu Nakud's reign of terror is at an end. I'm glad to hear it. He killed them. The men and women at his party. It was poison. A coward's tool. Blamed them for the war. Said he wished to end it. Strange. But then again, the merchant king was known to be a bit... different. Perhaps this was simply a symptom of his madness. Perhaps. You sound unconvinced. Speak with Almualab then. He may offer a better explanation. Yes, we'll see what he has to say. Fast forward in memory to a more recent one. And then we're gonna head back and we're gonna hit his explanation and then possibly get out of the animus and then that'll be the end of today's episode.
Bossy off is the SS and HQ. When you're out of knives, refill your stock by returning to Messiah or by pickpocketing a bus. Come, Alkair. Speak with me a moment. Oh, you're in the corner. As you wish. Word has reached me of your success. You have my gratitude and that of the realm. Freeing these cities from their corrupt leaders will no doubt promote the cause of peace. Can you really be so sure? The means by which men rule are reflected in their people. As you cleanse the cities of corruption, you heal the hearts and minds of those who live within. Our enemies would disagree. What do you mean? Each man I've slain has confessed strange words to me. They are without regret. Even in death they seem confident of their success. Though they do not admit it directly, there is a tie that binds them. I'm sure of it. There is a difference, Altair, between what we are told to be true and what we see to be true. Most men do not bother to make the distinction. It is simpler that way. But as an assassin, it is your nature to notice, to question. Then what is it that connects these men? Ah, but as an assassin, it is also your duty to still these thoughts and trust in your master. For there can be no true peace without order, and order requires authority. You speak in circles, master. You commend me for being aware, then ask me not to be. Which is it? The question will be answered when you no longer need to ask it. I assume you called me here for more than just a lecture. <laughs> Very well. A rank and weapon are again restored to you. Two more leaders remain. Go and see to it that their rule is ended. No, he said nine people, and now we're down to six. And it looks like we're not leaving, leaving the Animus yet, but this is the end of today's episode. Thank you for watching. This is DZ Bouchard playing Assassin's Creed 1, Part 5. And as always, I will see ya.